almost finished my homework. How about we watch a movie on DVD? And we have some hot popcorn right out of the microwave oven. <gasps> it's about time! We spent almost three hours in front of the computer! What's happening? The computer crashed. The power's <gasps> out, but don't worry. If you saved all your work on the computer, you'll get it back when the power comes back on again. <gasps> you didn't save it? Oh, no. <gasps> what a disaster. Now I'm going to have to start all over again. Oh, well, let's watch the movie, and later we can do it again together. But the TV's not working. The power's out. Then we could eat the popcorn. Oh, the microwave won't work without electricity either. What? What are we going to do? You can't live without TV or popcorn. For now, I'm going to look for some candles. You never know how long the power will be out. What a pain. There's nothing fun to do in this stupid blackout. Hmm. I'll have to do something. Fantastic, Mika. Huh. Hi, Mac. In the real world, the power went out. Yes, I know. Now I am working for a computer repair service. I'm investigating. That sounds like fun. Can I investigate with you? No. Mm -mm. But why not? Because every time you appear, I end up in trouble. Don't worry. This time I won't bother you. You won't even know I'm here. All right. Follow me. But don't speak. Don't sing. Don't even whisper. Don't do anything. Okay, let's follow this wire. It's the main wire that connects all the electronic appliances. Goob! Goob! Oh, uh, hello. Would you like some licorice? That's not licorice, you silly thing. I know. No, this is the main wire. You've knocked out the power in several universes. Oh, and what's worse, there's no computers, no television, not even microwave ovens to make popcorn. <laughs> I thought this licorice tasted pretty boring for licorice. <laughs> what a disaster. It will take me several days to repair this. What? Several days? But people can't go for days without computers. Or listening to music, or without going to Mars, we have to fix it! And how are we going to do that? Hmm... Well... If one end of the wire goes to all the technology that we know today, then the other end of the wire must go to the beginning of technology. Maybe we can find the answer there. What? But that could be a very long journey. And a very dangerous one. Well, then, come on! What are we waiting for? I... I think these are prehistoric times. Prehistoric times? Yes. When they discovered fire, the evolution of people began. This is the beginning of human technology. Ah. So you mean without fire we wouldn't have the internet? Something like that. What we should do is start the fire again so the technology of the future will continue to work. Okay, I get it. So, then light it. But how? I don't have any matches, nor a lighter. Oh, and how did they start fires in prehistoric times? Well, I think they did it by striking two stones together until they got a spark. Oh, yeah? Well, I got an idea. Ha! Oh! Nika, why did you do that? Because you ate the wire, and because 
because your head is the hardest stone in all of the many universes. Wow, it worked. <gasps> we fixed the breakdown. Now we can go back to the future again. Hey, look. What a pretty birdie. Hi, pretty birdie. That's not a bird, Goob. I saw a drawing of one in my history book. It's a pterodactyl, a giant prehistoric bird. What a shame we don't have some breadcrumbs to feed him, Nika. Pterodactyls don't eat bread, silly. So what do they eat? They eat meat. <laughs> Fantastic, Nika! Ha! Hello, Nika. The power's back on. Would you like to see the movie? Yeah, I really need to get my mind off of things. <laughs> what movie is it? Jurassic Park. What? Oh, no! Nika now knows that. All the electronic appliances that you use every day are technology. The DVD player, the digital camera, the MP3 player, the television, the microwave oven, the telephone, the computer. I'll bet that before your birthday, someone will invent something new. Scientists are smarter and smarter every day. You should learn how to use the technology in your house following the recommendations that the grown-ups give you. But be very careful. Don't do anything when you're all alone. And don't even think of opening them to see what they're like inside. You could break them. <laughs> 